Okay, so, like I said, less than nine, we're placing the first digit, okay? So, up here it says a three-digit dividend may not have enough hundreds to divide. If so, the quotient should start at the next place value position, okay? So, for example, Raven received 135 emails over three weeks. If she received the same number of emails each week, how many emails did she receive in the first week? Okay, so she received how many emails, everybody? 135. 135. And how many weeks three. was that? Three. three. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to go ahead. We're not even going to estimate, so cross off that estimate part, please. We're not focused on estimating today. We are focused on actually finding the answer today. Does that make sense? Yeah, makes okay. total sense. Makes total sense. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to look first at this question, okay? Can this three go into one? No. No. Raise your hand if you can tell me why not. Why can't that three go into that one, Deuce? Um, because... Um, well, one, because that is way not that easy, because it's pretty, because one is, not, you can't make one, three out of one. Perfect, absolutely, right? If I did three even times one, that's too much, right? Yeah, but that will be like a negative, like a, if you take one minus three, three mm -hmm. that's a negative. Absolutely, that would be a negative, right? Okay, so we are going to go ahead and I would like you to put a zero on top of this. That is simply your placeholder. All you're telling me with that is, hey, three cannot go into one. Okay, does that make sense? So we're going to go ahead and we're instead going to look at 13. Okay, we're going to look at our two numbers rather than just the one. Okay, so can three go into 13 without going over? Yeah, there's something times 3 that can go into a number close to 13, right? Yeah. It can't directly go into 13, but it can get close, yeah? yeah. Does anybody know how, what number I can take at times to get it close? Go ahead. 12, which would be 3 times what? Beautiful. Okay, reminder, because some of us get stuck here. What is 3 times 4? 12. So I'm going to minus 12. Yes? Am I taking what I, am I taking minus 4? No. No, I'm not taking what I got up here, right? I'm taking whatever answer I got. Okay? Yes? I know the answer. Beautiful. Just wait. To that one. So this, to 13 minus 12? Yes, the answer okay. is 1. Beautiful. The answer is 1. Tobin, wake up, please. Okay. <laughs> How many times, you want to just, all right. How many times can three go into fifteen? I want to see another hand up, then just Haley. How many times can three go into fifteen? So think about it. There's three plus three would give me what? Six. Six plus three more. Nine. Plus three more. Twelve. Plus three more. What's 12 plus three? 15. How many times is that? Five. Go ahead. five. Beautiful. <laughs> you got your answer. You're correct. <laughs> so three times five would give me what again? What is 15 minus 15, everybody? Zero. So what is my answer? 45. So she received how many emails? We're going to go ahead and the check for reasonableness, you can just cross that off. Okay. We're not going to estimate. So. All right. Good so far? Yep, go ahead and go to the next page, please. Once Mrs. Jenkins gets there. All right. Sorry, I just don't want this to fall off, and I feel like it's going to. Okay. Uh, come on. 
Focus with me. Focus. <laughs> Maybe? There it goes. Okay. Cross off that estimating again. Ah. All right, you know what? I'm just going to tear this out. It's going to be easier. I appreciate y'all's patience. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay. We're on our second page, yes? Okay. So, this time we're dividing 6,784 divided by 7. Can 7 go into 6? No. No. So what am I going to put there as a placeholder? Zero. All that tells me is, hey, seven can't go under that six, right? Yes, ma'am. On what? Seven times one would give me what? Can you minus seven from six? No, because that would equal uno. So it can't go into it. Okay. So I'm looking at sixty-seven instead. Yes. Does anybody have a multiplication chart that they can look at? Go ahead. Somebody tell me how many times can 7 go into 67 or get as close as possible without going over? 7 into what? Into 67. Ooh. <laughs> You're like ready to go. I know. Yes. I think it's You think it's 5? Okay. Good guess. 5 or 4? Okay. All right, we've got two ladies with their multiplication charts. Go ahead and look at 7, see as close a number you can get to 67. 6 or 8. 63. What is that times? 9. 9. Perfect. So what are we going to put on top? 9. And can you remind me what 7 times 9 is? 63. What is 7 minus 3? What is 6 minus 6? So I have 4, then I brought down my 8, right? So now I'm looking for 48. Can somebody tell me how close 7 can get to 48? How close can 7 get to 48? Go ahead, Haley. 42. What is that times? Six. Six. Beautiful. Is a multiplication chart going to help you? Yeah. Yes. So 42, right? Yeah. 7 times 6 gives me 42. What is 8 minus 2? Six. And what is 4 minus 4? Zero. <laughs> okay. So now, since I brought down my other 4, my other number, my 4, if you wouldn't mind putting an arrow there, they don't have it, but I like having an arrow. From the 4 down to where it is down here. So now I have 64, yes? No. Okay. How, we kind of already looked earlier. Do you think this 63 is going to be the same number we put here? Yes. Yeah, because if I go any further, am I going to go past 64? Yes. Yeah, so what was... What did I take seven times to get 63? Nine. Nine. So I'm going to write nine again. Seven times nine gives me what again? What is four minus three? What is six minus six? Okay, do I have any other numbers to pull down? No, I've got nothing over here, right? Which means this is my what? So remainder... He didn't go to the party. Beautiful. He didn't get invited to the party. Beautiful. Are we going to do this estimating part? No. no. Nope, we're just going to cross that off. Sorry, my thing is not, not liking this right now. Okay. We're going to do a couple more, and then I'm going to give you your homework. Ready? Yes, no, maybe so? Yeah.
Can, can five go into four? No. So what am I going to put here? A zero. Beautiful. <laughs> How many times can five go into 43 without going over? Uh, yep, if I count it right, because I'm skip counting my fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Forty-five would be too much, right? So, eight. Beautiful. What is five times eight? Five times eight gives me forty, yeah? Okay. What is three minus zero? Four minus four gives me? Okay. Let's do our skip counting again up to thirty-five. Okay. So we've got five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. That's right on, right? What? How many is that? Seven. Seven. So what number am I going to put on top? What is 5 times 7 again? 35. Absolutely. So my answer is what? 87. Okay. So I have 5 times 87 is going to give me that 435. Okay. Everybody with me so far? Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and let's look at the next one. Can 8 go into 6, everybody? No. Because I can't give you 8 apples if I only have 6, right? Right? Unless you go pick some more. Unless you go pick some more, absolutely. But for now, we're just going to pretend, right? All right. If you have your multiplication chart, somebody look how many times can 8 go into 62 without going over? Seven times? What is eight times seven? Fifty-six. Okay. Let's pause for a second. Hopefully you remember your subtraction. Okay. Can I take six away from two? No. So I need to do what? Borrow. Make 12, right? What is 12 minus 6? 12 minus 6 is 6. Beautiful. What is 5 minus 5? Okay, got to bring down my 9, right? So now I have 69. Does anybody know how many times 8 can go into 69 without going over? What is 8 times 8? Do you guys want to know a fun rhyme with this one? To remember 8 times 8? I'll never forget it because my teacher taught me way back in elementary school. You ready? 8 times 8 fell on the floor, picked it up, it's 64. I have remembered that since I was in third grade. So... Don't worry, you'll start remembering it. My mom That's usually the one, if, if I teach you guys anything, like any multiplication problem that you remember, it'll be that one, I promise. My mom talks. Mark my words. Yes. I know the answer. The answer is 78, remainder 5. Remainder 5? Beautiful. All right, so let's try it again. 8 times 8 fell on the floor, picked it up, it's 64. I always okay. remember right away. My mom, we just three times in past, and I don't remember all. Next, my mom did that. Next, perfect. All right. So we have seventy-eight remaining five. Okay. Do me a favor. Show me on your shoulders. How are you feeling? One, two, three, or four. One. <laughs> all we've done. Okay, we've been doing the same division, right? All we did was we just kind of looked at if it can't go into the first one. Okay. Number three. Okay. I'm feeling like. Oh, anyway, if you know this, this is 87, flip it around someday. Nice. Okay, beautiful. Wait, what, what is two? Two is you're kind of getting it. You're, like, you're kind of getting it. Three is if you got it. What's the one? One is I don't really get it. Two. 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 All right. Two. 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 Is there anyone? Okay. All right. I would like you to please 
turn to the homework page. I think it's 213. Yeah, it's 213. Thank you. All right. Okay. I want you to circle number 1, 2, 3. Turn to the back. And number 8. Ocho. You may... You may absolutely rip it up. Okay? You're going to work on this and turn it in if you finish in class. Yeah. Here's what we're going to do. I did it. I did